This is hunting for purple street lights in Kansas City, video 199. And I am actually in, I think this is technically a Latha or a Lenexa. Let's see. Well, I'm in a Lenexa now, but I'm really close to a Latha. Um, so what I want to do, so I'm like right here. It doesn't actually show me here, but I'm here. Um, since I have had an issue with uh, my car potentially overheating, um, I think it has to do with the temperature actually. Because um, I can actually drive an interstate for a while too sometimes uh, without any issues. Um, I have to be careful about like idling my car basically. So I want to take a look at these purple street light areas that I've looked at previously. The last video where I saw these was video 150. And also, um, let's see, 113, 114, I think, or 112, 113, 114. I can't quite remember. I think it's 113, 114. I'm going to go through and look at these individual areas here and get the LED panels on these. And also, I want to keep note of whether there are LED lights or non-LED lights in certain areas around these. So that's my next thing that I'm going to do here. So we're going to go down to over here. I'm going to have to shut my engine off and basically have my car sitting there um, so it can still see us um, on my other camera getting these. But this is my note. That's when I first saw it. Um, for these, actually, I think I had to come back. Wait, no. It's 313, right? Yep. Okay. And some of these other ones, like probably this one, would be like 114. Oh, 115. So even up to 115. Okay. So I'm going to do this in one video if I can here and get as many exhibit videos as I can of these lights and the, and see the patterns on these basically, because I think it's intentional. I think we will find that a lot of the LED lights are actually in the dead ends instead, and they purposely put them there to make it purple in those areas and also in those areas to make sure that it's harder to find these purple street lights from the main roads. Um, also, I haven't, I didn't quite notice this um, and we'll have to check. But some of these lights were off here before. I don't know if they're on or off now. By the way, we do have LED lights here. Um, I kind of want to get a sample of these almost and just see um, what these look like on the other camera. So I might actually take a look at this while my engine's kind of cooling down anyway. So I suppose I could reorient my vehicle to so do this part. Trying to think of how many I want to try to collect here. Um, this is not my first priority. Actually, my first priority is to get the ones I know about, but I know they might change out. So never mind. I'm not gonna get this area right now. I might get to this later, but I'm actually pretty tired and I didn't plan this, but I decided it's a good idea to do this as soon as I can because I think they will be changed after looking at video 196, exhibit A. So hunting for purple street lights in Kansas City, video. 196 exhibit a and comparing it to hunting for purple streetlights in kansas city video 142 in the mahaffey circle area um they changed out the purple street lights there and then they put a different kind of led panel in though that's not the same as the at least the other panels north of i-35 um and they made one exception though to where it looked like the same as the panels on the north side a strategic point that would be that's the third uh light pole south of i-35 on mahaffey circle and i don't think that's at all an accident i think they absolutely did it on purpose and if you think about people cutting through the parking lot if they had to replace the other purple the other budding purple street lights north of i-35 it makes perfect sense um also it's a better area for wind i thought it was at the tree line but actually when i went and i looked through the video i realized it's not the one at the tree line it's the third one down which is where it's more open anyway for wind and also could blow across the parking lot and also near connecting areas even between the north neighborhood and the south neighborhood over there if you look at the map. So on the uh, west side of Ridgeview. Now I'm going to go over to that area and see where I can park and we'll get the show on the road here. Let's see if I can clean the window here though. Okay, here we 
go. So now we're turning southward onto a, was it Canyon Creek Road, whatever they call it here, which is Cedar Creek uh, south of I-10, or I'm sorry, Route 10. So we're going to get on Route 10, which looks like it has road work right now, actually. On my way down here, it looked like there were some road work signs for like three miles west of about a mile from here. Be interesting to look at. I might have just seen a purple street light, guys. Um, I hope I remember to look at that. Over to the right. That's like way down. It's like on this side of I-10, or sorry, Route 10, but uh, down a ways. Anyway. These lights, let's see, they look the same as before. So that light pair is off, and then uh, one of those is off. Okay, doesn't look much different. All right, now we're gonna go down over to where that, uh, one of these lights was purple. It is October. Say October 7th still or 8th? Wait, no, no. Sorry, I was thinking of the video. October 10th, October 10th, 2023, right now. Let's see if this light is purple still at the end here. Maybe that was that light that I saw. That could be. Okay, I think I actually saw that light. Okay. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna pull over to the right here. Actually, I don't know. Oh, I think I know what we do. I'm gonna have to go all the way to the end here and then turn around. Rearrange myself towards these. Okay. Let's let this thing cool down a little bit. Okay. There we go. Dang! I can hear that fan that turned on. It's not. That's not cool, guys. I hate that. This is so important to me though, guys. I, I don't know if you guys, if you follow my other videos, it looks like they purposely seed these things. They purposely set them up. And on every newscast you find, they will all be telling you that they're not on purpose. It's a lie, guys. They do this on purpose. These lights are set up on purpose. And they're for visibility from the air. And look at where they put. Okay, here we go.
We came down and then we turned, we went over here and we were looking. Those purple street lights. Oh, sorry guys. This right here is that right there, okay? On the map. And the wind actually is blowing for some reason that direction. It usually doesn't, guys. Ooh, I gotta pee. So that's it for this right here. But I want to go look at these eventually. And I also want to look at these. So right now I'm going to focus on these up here. Okay. So we're going to stop this video though. <coughs> and that's the time on um, 199. Okay. I'm stopping it now. For you two. That's where we... That's the, that light right there. I gotta pee, so hold on. Sorry guys. I don't really wanna pee out here. I'm just gonna stop this video, okay?